Hello and welcome to this uh, quick video. Right, today's video I want to talk about dairy products and bone health. Um, simply because there's a lot of information out and about regarding how good dairy products are for for bone health, how they support bone health, help our bones grow bigger, stronger and um, I've recently been finding some very interesting information that um, you could say doesn't doesn't support that theory. Uh, maybe it does the uh, the opposite, or there's inadequate information that says that it does support um, our bone health. And um, the information that I found come from two papers uh, that I was reading, and I did a series of uh, status updates on Facebook uh, of just sort of what I sort of felt were relevant um, parts of the paper. So uh, I just want to share with uh, share this with you today. Um, I'm just using um, my blog, uh, which is ChristopherHold.com, um, because I put them up on here as well, uh, and I'm also going to put them on on YouTube in this video. So I wanted to make it sort of um, as accessible as possible. So I have it on my Facebook page, I have it on uh, my blog, and I'm now going to have it on YouTube. So. Here we go. So, talking about do dairy products cause osteoporosis? You decide. So, these are just a few of the um, sort of excerpts that I sort of pulled from the from the paper. The first paper is the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. So, does eating dairy products support bone health or contribute to oste osteoporosis? This was a series of statuses I posted onto Facebook. Uh, as I was reading a paper from the journal, from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. So there's a little intro. So, the first one. So, um, muscle cells carry their own calcium stores, and they are continually replenished by the blood, which in turn will replace its reserves from the bone if dietary intake is inadequate. All that means is muscular contraction. So every time your muscle contracts, it uses calcium. Your muscles, they have their own calcium store. If those calcium stores become depleted, it will pull calcium from the blood to top up those stores to be able to keep your muscles contracting. Now, the blood will top up its stores or replace its reserves from the bone if dietary intake is, is inadequate. So if your dietary intake is inadequate, calcium will be pulled from your bones to maintain the calcium levels in your blood. Okay, so that was the first little paragraph. The body of scientific evidence appears inadequate to support a recommendation for daily intake of dairy foods to promote bone health. The journal, the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. So my question is, so where do we get calcium from to support bone health? If it's not from dairy products like milk, cheese, um, eggs and things like that, where's it from? So again, the next sort of excerpt. Um, high calcium content of processed cheese products may be offset by the high sodium, polyphosphate and protein content of these products. So, I'm not saying that uh, cheeses, milks and you know whatever else dairy products are out there, I'm not saying that they don't contain calcium, they do, but what this is saying, their high calcium content may be by other factors. So, because, although these are high calcium, they're not necessarily contributing to bone health because of other factors and other components within that food that counteract it. And then you've got acid cured cheese such as cottage cheese are relatively low in calcium and potassium and high in protein and sodium, giving them a, nutri a, a nutrient profile unlikely to benefit skeletal mass. So... Just those uh, few little sort of sentences, I guess you could call them, um, start to put into question what um, what is actually healthy for for our for our bones, I guess. And so I then went and found another paper because I sort of wanted to not just use just the one paper because um, that could then maybe seem um, a little bit biased, so I then went to another paper, and um, a paper by the American Academy of Pediatrics, and um, 
Yeah, had a, had a little read and, you know, found, found some more information um, regarding uh, dairy products and sort of bone health. So, um, to start off, we found no evidence to support the notion that milk is a preferred source of calcium. Indeed, only a minority of studies on dietary factors in bone health specifically examined dairy products. So what that's basically saying is there's well, th these guys have found no evidence to support the notion that milk is a preferred source of calcium, whereas in the media, that's where it's all coming from. So the, what basically what I think what the media are picking up on is the fact that everything's really high calcium, uh, like dairy products are high calcium, therefore they promote bone growth or bone health, um, whereas studies find when you go a little bit deeper into it, yes, they're high in calcium, but they're not necessarily good for, for bone health. So... For example, the calcium in dairy products is not as well absorbed as that in any in many dark leafy green vegetables. So again, going back to this little statement, so where do we get calcium from to support bone health? It could well be that we get calcium for bone health from dark green leafy vegetables. Because, as it says here, the calcium in dairy products is not as well absorbed as many in dark leafy green vegetables. Again, from the American Academy of Pediatrics. So, most evidence that is available from long, longer term studies that evaluate the effect of childhood consumption of dairy or calcium have not supported the hypothesis that a positive calcium... that have not supported a positive calcium balance. So um, that's just a very small snippet of a, of a paragraph, and basically what it said is um, sort of the, the longer-term effects of, of, um, of calcium, uh, sorry, of, of dairy consumption, is one that doesn't support a, a positive calcium balance. So it, in a sense, depletes your bones of calcium rather than adds to it which again is sort of the whole sort of philosophy of this of this video. So yeah, I just wanted to I just wanted to give that to you. I just wanted to sort of provo provoke thought and maybe get people questioning and uh get people thinking about, you know, if if they do uh eat or drink any any dairy products, are they doing it for um are they doing it for health reasons and if they are, should they then, you know, think about doing something else? Uh should they think about not having dairy products or you know eating more dark leafy green vegetables to get their uh, to get their calcium so yeah thanks for listening thanks for watching um i hope it's been hope it's been helpful for you and um it would be uh it'd be great to have some comments uh if you want to catch up with me on on facebook you can do you can come to my blog at Christopher Hole dot com uh you can get to facebook from there or you can just come and uh, come and comment on my blog all right my name's Christopher Holt. Speak to you soon. Cheers, bye.